Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Crew Mode Part Number Nine, and we're going to be doing the trucks at the Dodge Raceway track and some other one that I cannot go oh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee. So those are the two, and maybe a third one depends. Ugh. Why did I burp? I don't know, but <laughs> so point standings, we got a commanding lead. We just basically need to just continue running in the top ten, and I feel like we can probably win the title. Just by sheer consistency alone as Jack Baker a fantasy driver is ahead of Travis Kvapel aka uh, wife beater champion so yeah um, we might as well head right into it this track I don't know like I do get a lot of comments of people really liking this track and I like it but my god the tire fall off is bad and it just seems like I, I just don't just I just don't got that that feel for it or something I don't know but the dog freaks out. Why? I I don't know. I didn't even really say anything. But that's that's the household I'm in. Sometimes the dog just gets mad for... I don't know. I flush the toilet, she gets mad. I empty out soda cans. That there's like a little bit of soda left. I go in the sink and I, I, I wash that off and I clean the sink and... And, and so she freaks out because of that too. It's cause, I don't know. But whatever. Anyways, let's get into qualifying and have a good race. Well, off turn four, that was a, a, a horrible second lap, but we got the pole, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know how we keep doing it, but, well, I know how we keep doing it, because in qualifying, the tire fall-off isn't as extreme as it is compared to the race, we've, we've established that, but yeah, let's, let's get into the race, we only barely got the pole, I just noticed, but yeah, let's, let's try to have a good green, have a pit stop, and get a top 10, that's all I want, and Quaffle got 26, so that's really bad for him. Well, uh, the car is set up like usual, default, and in fact, the wedge is set to zero here, which is nice. Kind of like Red Ball, where it's a super duper short track. That was up like a, a round up on the red wedge, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. The game uh, does it itself here. So we're going to mount the pole. I'm expecting this truck to handle differently in every corner. And also, because we're going around here so quickly and just the corners are so short, we don't even need, really need to go into fourth gear. We could just stay in third the whole time. So 20 laps, we'll pit around lap 9. I feel like pitting a lap before halfway is the best to, to, way to do it. I mean, it worked out at, uh, at Texas, so we'll do that there as well. And we already have a pretty okay lead. I'm going to try to focus in here. And just hold the bottom and gap them as much as I can before this thing really falls off the face of the earth. Oh yeah, this thing is getting bad. It's It really is changing about every lap. We're going to pit this time just to be safe. 70 miles an hour here. we got to undercut the field any way we can. So four tires of fuel, that's it. Just have a standard okay stop and I think we'll be fine. Yeah, this, this pit stall is always... Or this track is always interesting with the pit stall because it's under a, a bridge. Or under something. Oh boy, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Okay. I really thought we were going to get hit by somebody uh, entering pit road there. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a bad deal with time. Go. I'm, having another, I'm having another stroke. It's over, folks. This, you're watching me die on camera. But yeah, it's nice. That's what I was trying to say. It's nice that the pit road is under the thing, and it looks cool. It's a cool environment thing. I think it's like that at the old Spice Road course as well. Oh, wow. We actually cycled out a good bit ahead of second place was is it really because we just did an undercut like that that well <laughs> i mean it's about a second and a half and we got six to go and i mean we have we have lap traffic to worry about i'm sure it'll be a problem but we do have a good enough gap and whoever's in second is gonna have to get around lap traffic as well so i guess this is the best case scenario i really didn't think it would turn out this this well i'm actually kind of speechless we're pulling away <laughs> I mean, this truck is pretty much, man, it's gotten worse and worse as the runs went, like, gone on, but it's, we're pulling away. I guess they're having a really hard time around lap traffic, which is really good. <laughs> I mean, we're going to win this by a good bit. I mean, we're really low on fuel, so I don't even know if we could have made it another lap, but we're going to be good enough to make it to the end and we'll, we'll win. I, I can't believe it. I mean, that worked out really well. And our next competitor is nowhere to be found so we just we gain another big chunk of points that i can't even fathom we led 16 of those 20 laps i don't know who led the other four 
but it doesn't seem like it's any of our championship competitors. Okay, it's Hall, so that's not really anybody for position, but poor Carl Edwards, man. He's still having a really rough season. And a thousand hero points. Well, that's nice. It's nice to get hero points for a change. We've barely been getting them the last few races, but that was a good chunk. Next up on the schedule is Milwaukee. And remember, we did pretty well in the modifieds. So I don't know if the ad difficulty is just not top tier insan insanity, but we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of practicing and then head right into qualifying. And we got fans to sign. Well, hell yeah. That was our third truck win, too. That was really cool. All right. Well, let's see how many fans we get this time here in this little... Okay, that's a lot more. That's a lot more. And the whole screen is filled. I can't look down because I have to do this. But, yeah. I'm trying to see if there's any girls because Timothy Richmond, like his father before him, I'm sure would be very proud if he did that. But, okay. Okay, we're doing... Okay, I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay. I'm doing pretty good at this. Oh, I, I hit circle. But thankfully, the one time I hit circle, it didn't register. So, good job on the on that button. So, I, I okay, I fucked up. It, it was, it, we, there, there was two people. Okay, with two people. Oh, my God. I wonder if one of those two is Michael Roots. I wonder if that's what Jeff Byrne had to deal with. Like, he, he had to do this mini game, and Michael Roots was, like, one of those two people that... That didn't get the autograph because he was signing so many people at once and that's what happened that's the lore i'm going with because i feel like that's the most plausible scenario off turn four our first side was a 26 one i think this one will be a little bit better at least i hope so and it was by about a tenth <laughs> and that's gonna be fifth so that's not bad but expect a little bit better but okay 25 9 and okay we were about about a tenth off so yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit tougher than the Modified. It doesn't have, it's not as glued to the track as it was in the Modified if, in comparison. So that's kind of what threw me off. But I think we'll be okay in the race. And, and we're on the inside line, so that's also a very good advantage. The car set up like usual. It is default. And again, default setup, it's nice. It's like it's like some of the EA people knew that, hey, at a, at a you know short track, you don't... Well, it's not really... Well, I, I don't know if this is short. Track that's... Some tracks you don't need the wedge all the way jacked up, so it's tight as shit. That's what I'm trying to say. So let's get into it. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, it feels like we're, we might be okay. We just gotta put ourselves in position. That's all we really gotta do is we just got one hell of a start. I mean, good lord. Okay, let's just take it easy in turn one. I mean, we kind of hit that poor truck driver that I think I got into at Texas too, so I'm sure he's probably yet again really mad and i don't blame him i deserve to get really actually i deserve, really deserve to get hit at some point in my career but i haven't had that happen but we're gonna go right to the inside and try to lead this lap as that's the 192 that's like same number and probably team as it was in the modified series as we don't really have an angle in turn one because i don't want to hit that inside wall so that kind of hurt us a little bit we'll try to get a good run off to get to the inside here it's gonna make a cheeky block but we got that straightaway speed and we'll dive it in there. It's stuck pretty well. It is still new on tires, so that's also very good. And there we go. We got the lead. And we'll pit on lap 7. So for now, as long as I don't do anything stupid, we'll you know, keep the lead here and try to try to build a little bit of a gap. I'll be heading down here with this, this coming lap. And like usual, it is falling off, but it's not as bad as it's been in the past. It does feel pretty tight, but it's manageable. And again, we're just holding off John Wood right out in front of me. So it's not been bad. It's I've, I've seen trucks handle way worse than this. So We'll duck it down Piro to try not to get hit by him. And there we go, 70 miles an hour. There we go, just nice. Almost hit the pit road wall, which was pretty bad. But All right, four tires in fuel, and we'll be out in the way. And we should cycle back out to lead, I'm hoping. I mean, it worked out at Dodge Raceway pretty well. So I'm, I'm hoping the same result. 15.3 estimated time, and that was a... My, was that a second fa <laughs> Was that a second faster? Did my eyes deceive me or was that a second faster? Holy crap. Now I gotta be careful here because I actually spun out here in practice and I just merged out on track in front of in front of some poor individuals. So. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was a that was a hell of a stop. I mean, it looked like a second quicker. I don't I, I could be oh god, that's a that's a weird stack up there as I saw sparks, but we're gonna be good. 
That's Brandon Witt. He did seem like he was running up there with John Wood, so we did get by him, so that could be for virtual P1 right then and there, which is which is which is good. More trucks leaving Pit Road. That one truck that stayed out quite a while went down Pit Road, so now we're back on the lap. And there's John Wood right there. We'll cycle out pretty much into literal P1 here. Problem is, uh, they, they pitted a couple laps after I did, and those two laps, though, I don't know. I mean, it might be a gain for us. I don't know. I mean, we do have a little bit of track position. Or not really track position, but more of a gap to, to second. So that's nice. But again, what we got to do is just execute. We just got to hit our marks. We have a six-tenth or a five-tenth of a second lead. We got good straightaway speed still, so we just got to execute. We, which is going to be probably be really difficult because they're actually closing in a bit. But I'm going to try to focus in, in sweat mode mode for a lap or so. So yeah, we're, we're still leading. It's just as terrifying as it was in the first half of the run. I almost hit that, that wall there, which is terrifying. But this thing is just very disgustingly tight. And we got to hang on for it. Okay, we're going to lose the lead right away. All right, well, that's good. I mean, it's just, it just sucks. And all right, well, there goes that lead. And there goes the win. And try not to get magnetized to him. And all right, we'll fall back to third. Well, that really sucks, man. It's just... Uh... Maybe this was one of the tracks where I just needed to stay out that extra lap. I don't know. But, yeah, it's just sad. We just don't really have any grip, and that's just killing us. My flag's out, and looks like John Wood's going to get the win. Like, usual, we're, we're holding our own. Not, I mean, it's, I mean, we've experienced much worse, but it just still sucks. I mean, we're going to get a top five here anyways. Straightaway speed's like only okay. Well, I'm sorry, Brandon. Wait, you don't. He doesn't deserve any of that, by the way. And Bobby Hamilton, man, he really fucking didn't like that. Apparently. All right. Well. All right. We got third. We you know we're we're gonna finish third anyways. And uh, there you go. Brandon Brandon Witt isn't gonna kick my ass as bad as I would have thought, but it's okay. That that sucked. I really wish I could have won. At least we led the most laps. So that's 14 there. I think the other two is from that one truck that stayed out. All the way, yeah, that, that, that Lyman, I guess. Carl Edwards, 14th, is our 23rd, so good good for him for a change. And Yeah, again, we're, we're finishing very well. We're getting max points for laps led and all that. So we're doing everything what we need to, to to be in this championship hunt. And I'm sure the point gap is just disgusting. I didn't even think I showed it after the last race. But I'm sure it probably would have been just as sickening as it will be when I check it out now. As we're gonna check out the uh, the hero villain points thing, will be okay. Uh, barely a hundred hero point. I'm sure all that whatever I had went all the way down because of that last lap incident, which I was surprised that I actually kind of, if I was able to hold my line better, I might have been able to do something or maybe been able to to hold our own. I don't know. It it, it wasn't as I mean it was a fall off for sure. Maybe I should have made it a little bit looser. But yeah, 340 points. Bobby Hamilton now takes over second. So yeah, he was right there behind me at the end of that race. Almost killed me, so definitely he, I watch out for him. I know he's pretty quick in this game, too. He also won the truck championship in real life in, in, well, in 04, but this is like the 05 season. So it's, uh, yeah, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, uh, well, we'll throw in Kansas. We'll throw in Kansas. I don't care. We'll just, we'll do it. Why not? We don't got any test runs. We don't got any charity races or convertible thingamajigs so we'll we'll throw in kansas here as well and we got more fan autographs to sign well geez isn't that nice and we'll get to a point where we really won't need this because we're gonna have enough like we're gonna max out our prestige and then it really won't matter maybe i'll do it like once a season by that point just make it like a super rare exclusive appearance thing but other than that, I'll probably stop at some point. But this is still pretty neat, and again, it's one of those things that's just really fun to do. It, to see modern aspirin anymore, like these like mini game things. I see a girl. I see a girl. Right. Oh, I messed up. I'm sorry. I was. I looked at the girl. <laughs> I saw it. My eyes are focused on the things, and I couldn't see the the, the girl in the bottom right. I was like, oh my god. Huh. <sighs> it's not Amy Hicks. We're not gonna. Amy Hicks is not in this lore. But didn't the rich and. Tim Timothy Richmond and the Richmond bloodline will be scoping out for any of them. Off turn four like usual, we got the pole. Just kind of curious what lap time I can run in this one. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. Again, we, we always run really well. And actually, that was a 
it said okay, I guess. Was it faster? I didn't, it didn't look like it. I could be wrong, but. Got the pull by about a tenth, so that's good. But yeah, I don't know what to expect. It, it could be one of those races where we have good speed, but tire fall is going to be bad. But we're still going to do that that cheeky undercut like one lap before halfway and see if that works out here. I mean, it, we're one for one on it, so I'm, I'm, I feel like it's a, there's a good chance of it working out. Car is set up like usual. It is default. Again, the wedge is set to zero, so that's nice that the default does that. But yeah, let's just get into it, try to have a good run. I feel like we will as we have this 103 truck to our outside again, so that's kind of funny, but I saw his right rear tire, like, not fully round. That's kind of, a, that looks like a big uh, problem, and we're not going to actually have a good start, which is almost kind of typical at, a, at these kind of tracks, it feels like. But we should be able to get the lead back here pretty quickly. We just got to put ourselves in position like usual and just keep it to the bottom, not try to set the world on fire on lap one. Definitely not try to you know, slide off the racetrack or anything. There we go. That was nice. I want to go off the track and make the pass, but that apron is extremely deadly. Just a little bit. We can do it a little bit. Like, that was okay. And he's going to lead that first lap, but we'll take the lead and clear and clear on the bottom. Beautiful. And now we'll just maintain this and pit on lap six. We'll lose the lead. Man, it just gets tight. It's way too quick, and it just kind of hurt us there. Just trying to not lose too much positions, but... Yeah, it's... I mean, like usual, we're really good on the straightaways. He's actually blocking a bit. We'll go to the inside here. Have a horrible angle in the turn three, but we'll just kind of purposely slow up a lot. And keep it on the bottom, but he just kind of hauls ass on the outside. Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that when we do pit here soon, it's going to be that big of a help of an undercut and we can get a lead and just hang on for dear life to the end. Kind of like what we did at Texas. Yeah, that thing is just pushing up the track, my god. But, you know, oh, 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 I don't. <laughs> He's better than me, okay? Why can't I just accept that? I don't need to wreck him. Okay. Alright, we're just going to just settle in here. I will be pinned this lap. This yeah, actually a couple of people already head down Piro, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, we just gotta get through turn three. Just keep it on the bottom, even if we have to just park it a little bit more than usual. Well, there's a lot of smoke there. I didn't cause that. So, all right, there we go. Seventy miles an hour. There we go. Just nice and calm. Four tires and fuel like usual. We'll loosen up just a smidge. And that'll help us out, I hope. I the, the one time I made adjustments, it screwed me. So I'm hoping this time it, this is a good, beneficial gain. 15.3 second stop like usual, and it turns out to be a 14.9. So that's a good pit stop. Now we just gotta hope that we did a big enough of an undercut that we can gain something. And we cannot lepage the field. Okay, now we can get it back on track. There's a lot of sparks in front of me. But yeah, now we just gotta hope we'll cycle out good from this. Just gotta put in some good hot laps and go from there so yeah one truck pitted along with me and he's kind of right there behind me so we just gotta try to build a gap and well that's a lot of tire marks my god <laughs> my god's a lot of tire marks that was not all for me so that that's that's nice and reassuring wow i almost died right there but yeah that was that was nice and reassuring but wow we are not gonna cycle out into lead we're actually gonna be third that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, damn, man, I, I can't believe that. Usually an undercut... Hey, we're clear, but yeah, usually an undercut does... It benefits us pretty well, but that time, it didn't do us any any favors, and the Shrugs is just gonna get worse as the run goes on, so this is, um... This is not good. As long as Bobby Hamilton isn't up there, I think we'll be fine. That's Ryan Carter, so... That's okay. Wow, they are really close to being on the track and lepaging all of us but we'll cycle into third so that's kind of cool but we lost a lot of time from that I, I can't believe that
Yeah, I mean, we made it looser, and it. I guess it might have helped, but we really aren't kind of, you know, catching them. We just kind of stagnated here a little bit. But that one truck behind me did just recently pit, so he's going to have a lot more. I, I would assume so. I don't know, but he's right there. I know he really wants to pass me. I, thankfully, uh, yet again, our straightaway speed is just so mighty, and he just absolutely choked the shit out of that and died. Well, that makes my, my day a little bit easier. We could now for sure get third place, so thank you for that. That was a that was a what-if choke right there on on AI proportions. My flag's finally out, and this truck... It's amazing, man, how, how quickly this thing just falls off the face of the earth. We were just about two seconds back from leaders, and then all of a sudden it just... It just clipped, and we're now half a second back, or further back than where we were after that cycle of green flag stops. We just gotta get through three and four, keep it on the bottom, and we should be able to get third place. We've done pretty good in this race, and I think those pit adjustments, I guess, helped. But there we go, off turn four. We're gonna barely hang on for third. I'll take it. That was... Damn, I can't believe they cycled out that far in front of me. But it was, again, a very solid finish. Bobby Hamilton got 10. Carl Edwards fourth, too, by the way. That might be his first top 10 of the season. I don't know, but... Yeah, well, the good thing is we gained points on Bobby Hamilton, which is very nice. And we did lead a lap, so we did get bonus points, but... Yeah, I mean, seriously, if we just keep running top 10s, we're gonna win the title. And it doesn't matter what Bobby Hamilton does, because we're just so consistent. It's... I quite good. I, I was gonna say something clever, but I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Look at that, 900 hero points. Well, that, that's nice. I, I didn't know what to expect, but that's a nice amount. And we got another test session opportunity in, in the Bush series. Yep, for the Creepies Chevrolet. Well, that's a funky name. Hey, I got Prestige Level 3, so we're, we, we're doing good. Let's do this. It's at Dodge Raceway. That's five laps. That's gonna be, like, under a minute to do that but we'll see uh if we can do it and hopefully it goes out well we've talked to your ancient and he said you were looking for a new ride we bought you the creepy chevy with us and what okay well 12 12.850 that's our goal we'll see what we can do again i don't know what the, the star rating of this this car is and and all that so i don't i don't really know I and mean, again i don't really know as well like what gear to be in here Again, this has a little bit more power than the, the truck series for sure. But our goal is 12.8. So I don't know if that's like super doable. Usually these time trial things aren't like really hard. So I don't I don't know. Okay, well, in one lap you already beat it and we just dripped in turn one. So I think we're good. I'm just... Uh, I think we're good. That's the point. That's, um, that's the point I'm trying to convey. I don't think my lap times are going to be as consistent as the the great Dale Reynolds, but it's it's admirable, to say the least. There we go. We completed the challenge. Not totally consistent there. It was kind of all over the place. But yeah, it, it was good. 12-7, 12-9, 12-5, 12-9, 12-7. I mean, at least it was only about two tenths off. But yeah, well, we got the contract. That's all that matters. And... That's good. Why did I burp again? I don't know why. And, yep, we got the offer. So we'll check that out, see what star rating it is. I don't know. It might be two. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, it's still one. And the payout is only marginally better than the last one we got. So. Yeah. Maybe eventually we'll get a two-star <laughs> Bush offer. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a gander at the point standings. It's it's probably sickening. I mean, we pretty much got this on lockdown almost. We have almost, we have, I think, two, almost two race point lead. <laughs> We've just been so consistent, gotten top tens in every race. And yeah, Bobby Hamilton, I don't know what his stats are like, but all I know is that we have three wins and all of them are top tens. So we're on, we're still on that path of becoming are surpassing our modified thing because yeah that, that's a goal I, I really want to get that goal that'd be pretty cool big shout out to my tier three patreon supporters the dale Rollins, with the rose kamikaze games ryan lazar and dave having our champ 15 racing news now alan gray motorsports games and jeff Gordon for donation again i can't thank guys enough for contribution and support to the channel like this every single month it does mean a lot to me and like usual i i'm very grateful and cannot thank you guys enough
So that's it for me in this part, and it's it still says we're a rival, barely, but we're just oh, we're just under that. It's, it, boy, our modified crew, man, it just it just tainted us. We're still a, a villain, barely, but still a villain. But yeah, so we're we're seven percent through the game, and we have a lot to kind of you know, finish up. We still got four more production cars, I guess we're gonna get, and we got ten percent of the track trophies. I'm not really going for like a 100% playthrough where I'm going to get all the trophies and thunder plates and, and all that stuff. I'm just more more or less just trying to get to the Cup Series, win a championship, and maybe do a second season, try and defend a title, and maybe we can get like an offer at Hendrick. Because I, there's one car I want to pick. And out of every car I want, there's one. I won't spoil it, but I'm sure it's pretty obvious. But that's that's one of the plans. Yeah, that, that, see, that's the breadcrumb crumbs I'm dropping. I may only say it once, and then, like, seven, eight months later from then, you can look back on this part and be like, oh, my God, he called it. See, I'm a strategist. <laughs> I don't know, but <laughs> uh, I'll see you all in the next part, and I'll see you all later, and, and as always, have a good day, everyone.